Hello there, uh, Scott here. Uh, got a question from a student about independent independent versus a pair of t tests and when we should use each. And then the the general rule is that we use an independent test when we've got two separate groups that have no natural relationship with each other. So, uh, but then we use a paired t test when we're we're formulating a test and there's a clear relationship between the two groups. Like usually it's before and after like that. So, so for an example, uh, let's see, if, if we're testing um, the effect of vegetarian diets on cancer recovery rates, and we take uh, two groups, one vegetarian and one meat eating, and record their average recovery time. So if we've got two just completely separate groups, and one's uh, meat eaters, and then one's vegetarian, and then we record their average recovery time. That would be, those are two separate groups. There's no clear one-to-one -one pairing. So that's, those are independent. So we're doing an independent t-test there. Now, if instead we were, if we were doing, if we were interested in the same, but we were taking a sample of 20 cancer patients, and if they started out being meat eaters, and then we recorded them, so if we recorded them at the beginning being meat eaters, and we have, say, 20 patients, and then, so we record them, so, and then six months later we do the same thing, or, is, or we have them eat vegetarian for six months, and then record them again. And, but we're recording the same people, so there's a clear relationship there. So. We've got the same people paired up, uh, uh, but we're recording twice. So that's a that's a case where we have a paired t test. So so I uh, hope that makes sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and have a good day.